Hello, this is Jeff Salzenstein, and I'm really excited to bring you today's lesson that's going to help you on your return of serve. Now, what we're going to go over today is the second serve return where you actually choose to back up and you let the ball drop and hit an aggressive ground stroke. Now, a lot of traditional coaches are only going to have you stand in to return serve. And if you're playing a weak server, go ahead and stand in. But if someone has a big kick serve, the ball's bouncing high, it's getting on you fast, you can back up to hit this return. Now, when you do that, you must make sure that you let the ball drop or that you let the ball settle. So what I mean by settle is the ball is going to be high in the air off the kick with the kick, and then it's going to settle or it's going to drop. And that gives you time to essentially hit a heavy ground stroke as a return of serve back to your opponent. So I'm going to back up to hit this return, and I'm going to focus on letting the ball drop and hitting a heavy ground stroke back as my return of serve. <clears throat> so I see that the ball is high in the air, and then I actually let the ball drop before I hit that heavy topspin ground stroke back. Here's another look of me hitting a heavy ground stroke back as a return of serve after I let the ball drop. So then, as soon as I hit that ball, I hit it very aggressively, then I can recover towards the middle of the court and get ready. The key, remember, is to back up and let the ball drop. Don't take the ball too high. Take it in your strike zone. It's okay if you're further back, as long as you hit a very heavy ground stroke back to your opponent. If you'd like to add 10 miles per hour to your serve instantly, go ahead and click the button to the right in this video player. I'm really excited to help you transform your serve, so go ahead and click the button to the right and we'll get started helping you with your serve.